die in a bathroom would be so depressing. <laughs> Holmes, when I go, I want to go out having sex. Well, knowing the grip your girlfriend has, it's sure to happen soon enough. <laughs> God, what is it with you and sex? If the public knew the real you, not this prim and proper Dr. Watson you've concocted in all your stories. Oh, do I betray you in such a, a proper way? Come on, let's get on with it. Okay. What does the toilet tell you about the victim's death, Watson? They were very clean. Precisely. And what tells you that? No shit, Sherlock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. Do your thing. Okay. As we can see by the mineral deposits on his right sleeve, he spent some time in Borneo off the coast of Malaysia, the only place where that particular mineral compound is found. As you have a look at his shoelaces, you can see they're slightly done wrong on the left-hand side, reveals his arthritis in his right-hand finger. And if you check his sideburns on the side of his face, you can see that his floorboards and his bathroom were quite uneven. So when we put it all together, Watson, what does that tell us? You really need a girlfriend. Yeah. Chris, what? <laughs> what about Clara from down the road? She could be your dear stalker. Stalker? Stalker? Did you get it corn? Oh, come on, I'm wasted as your assistant. Be the cannabis. You can say right on my love life. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh come on, ever since that hunk Benedict Cumberbatch played by there in Tellyland, everyone's been drooling after Sherlock. Oh Sherlock, you can just be for fingerprints. Oh Mr. Holmes, you can examine my mysterious crime scene. Oh what do we make of your dedictions today? <laughs> Enough. Come on, we're done here. But where will the murderer strike next? Hmm. I'm not sure. Ah, I have just the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it will strike at the town hall at noon tomorrow. How did you work that one out? Never underestimate the power of hindsight. 